Henrietta. Good morning, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us today um, for the fair. That's absolutely fantastic. And you've got four really fantastic schools to hear from today, um, all very, very different schools, but all extremely good. So I hope that you know it will be very useful for you. And I'm really looking forward um, to speaking to you all um you know basically when, when you come back on the 4th of october so you know it, it's it's exciting times i'm just going to share my screen and give you a little bit of information about cardiff sixth form college it will take roughly about 15 minutes and if there's anything you don't understand um please do kind of raise your hands and gan i'm sure hello gan lovely to see you um <laughs> we'll be very happy to translate so um so let me just do that for you now um and uh you know and um, let's see if we can manage to share this in a minute second much i'm sorry that took a little bit of time okay so cardiff sixth form college um Cardiff is actually has been the top school in the UK for A level results over the last 11 years. And we, as you probably know, we've had slightly different A level results this year, but um, the, the results are, are pretty stunning. Um, we actually have 99% of our students getting all A star and A's at A level and 100% got A star to B, which means that they nearly all got places at top Russell Group universities. So um, this gives you an idea, really. Obviously, there's no league tables this year due to COVID-19, but it gives you an idea if you looked at the schools over the past five years and the percentage of A star to A's, you can see this year, for instance, our percentage has gone up very, very significantly. So um, it, it is a strange year and possibly not one to compare against other schools, but, but certainly you know, over the past 10 years, Cardiff has had a really long history of delivering absolutely outstanding academic results, which means, of course, that that our students have gone on to some very, very top universities. Um, if we look this year, for instance, the university destinations for 2020, 17 of our students went on to Oxford and Cambridge. Um, uh, 26 went on to both London School of Economics and Imperial College, 32 to University College London, and actually 16 went on to top Hong Kong and Chinese universities to study medicine, dentistry and architecture. So as you can see, it, it, it absolutely is a school which, which delivers um, very kind of excellent grades and then excellent university places, and there's lots of reasons why. Um, in terms of our students, most of them really are looking for, for traditional what I would call academic subjects. So um, 33 went on, for instance, to do medicine this year, um, 35 economics and finance and management. So that's really, really actually increased economics, finance and management. I think as more young people have been looking at kind of starting their own businesses and doing different things all in all parts of the world. So that's been increasing hugely. Um, Dentistry, veterinary science, um, engineering, and architecture, another area that is enormously increasing um, as people are looking at kind of different building projects and things in different countries around the world or looking at doing kind of engineering and going to very, very many different areas of engineering, whether it's mechanical or aeronautical or chemical. So, so very interesting, but really, really good at the um, traditional type subjects. IGCSEs, which is obviously um, another area which we look at, again, Cardiff again has, has delivered pretty amazing results. So 100% um, of our students for who did kind of biology and French and Russian and Chinese and history all got 100% um, A star to A's. In terms of our overall grades, 93% got A star to A's, which in the new system means numbers nine to seven. Um, oh. Something's happened there. Uh, sorry, just wait one minute. Um, sorry. Uh, so, so basically, that meant ninety-three percent have actually have actually achieved um, A star to A in their IGCSE grades in two thousand and twenty. That put us last year at the top of the small schools league tables, which are slightly different to the normal league tables because that's for um, people who put in candidates of twenty-eight or less. Um, and last year was our first year of delivering. IGCSEs and in our first year that we delivered them we we managed to get to the top of the small school C tables because we had our first cohort which was just 16 students. This year we've doubled that we now have 34 students actually taking our, our, our GCSE course. Um, Cardiff is very different to quite a lot of schools um, in that really our curriculum is divided into four. Um, the first element, of course, is A levels, for instance, which is, you know, we, we actually take four subjects at A level rather than three. Um, and we support 
um, our A-level kind of academic curriculum through things like weekly critical thinking courses, um, enabling our students to take the extended project qualification, which is um, a, an independent research project. For those who want to do engineering, particularly architecture, we, you know, they'll do, probably do an art portfolio course, for instance. But we're also trying to get our students really, really engaged in the careers in which they want to go to and actually give them the kinds of skills they need um, going on in not just into university but actually into the world of work and so we do a lot of practical courses and things like effective communication skills for instance leadership entrepreneurship mindfulness to make sure that everybody is you know kind of on track and mentally prepared and then for university obviously things like living skills so that when students go to university they know how to wash their own clothes you know do their own cooking those kinds of things and actually having just dropped my two daughters last weekend at Manchester University and Surrey University I've realized I'm very glad that I personally did teach them to cook because suddenly they're with everybody else and they're actually you know able to kind of survive and travel around the UK and and be self-sufficient because 18 is you know is still not you know a, a very old age suddenly to be living kind of more more, more self-sufficiently um one of the things Cardiff does very, very differently, I think, is its work experience programme. So we run work experience both in the UK during October half term and February half term. And we also run international work experience programmes in Malaysia, in uh, India, in Tanzania and in Europe. And here it gives our students really the edge, I think, in terms of when they're writing their personal statement in terms of kind of showing you know how they've actually you know looked at projects and worked on projects around the world so for instance to give you an example our medical students went to India this year and went and worked on um, brain surgery in an Indian hospital um, and they also kind of worked in an orphanage looking at, at children's diseases and mental health um, we for our medics particularly they need quite a lot of work experience and, and voluntary work and they um, do a lot of work with kind of with, with children and and with the elderly in the UK really actually on on, on, on a weekly basis um, particularly during their their first year that they're with us here at Cardiff we also have a lot of kind of career societies so for instance we have something like the the engineering society for instance which will look at different types of engineering we'll bring in, bring in speakers um both from industry for instance but also we do a lot of work with cardiff university and we attend lectures there and when they, when they enable us to and we have you know we're part of the, the cardiff engineering society for instance um we enter our students into lots of competitions which is not really just about winning gold olympiads or debating competitions or mathematical challenges but also about the process that they go through to actually um you know kind of gain places um and 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 and, and, and win competitions and our students have done particularly well in the nasa space settlement design competition which is um which which the prize is actually you go you go to florida to visit the space station and uh, and cardiff students have won it it's a big international competition for, for five years we're also very successful in debating and three out of the five people who are part of the Welsh debating team, for instance, are all Cardiff sixth form students and they've been off to Croatia this year debating. They've been to Bangkok actually debating. Um, so, you know, all over the place and to Romania. So, you know, really kind of impressive international um, experience, which really sets our students you know, apart, I think, when when university admissions tutors are, are looking to choose them. Lots of enrichment trips. So our physicists have been off to CERN, for instance, our geographers have been to Iceland, our historians have been to Berlin, which really makes the curriculum kind of come alive. So firstly, you've got the academic. Secondly, you've got what we call the super curricula, which is the work and the study skills. The third part of a Cardiff education really is about university preparation. Um, and again, preparing students for university is quite a long process. So we start really the very first week that students come to us with their own kind of individual interview. We start mapping out what kinds of things they're thinking that they would like to do. And then our personal tutors meet with them every two weeks and take them through the whole process, really to make sure that they find the right university for the subject that they want to choose. How does the UCAS process work, for instance? How can we help with mock interview practice and study skills? Because all of our students go to top universities, they need to take extra admissions tests, such as the BMAT or the UCAT or the PNAT. So we give them weekly admissions test preparation, for instance, and lots and lots of kind of group discussions, practical workshops, critical thinking areas, so that they 
understand the subjects but also go further and we give a lot of extended work and and ted talks and we look at lots of podcasts and online skills that will help them really understand the subject that they're wanting to pursue Cardiff Sixth Form College is part of Duke's Education, which is a, which is a very, very big educational um, consortium in the UK. And we work quite a lot um, with our Oxbridge and Medical and US applications colleagues in London. Um, and because obviously we're part of Duke's and we're, we're fortunate our, our students get their tuition for free. And, and, and Duke's actually do their workshops with, with, with all the top boarding schools, Eton, Harrow, um, Badminton, St Mary's Khan, Cheltenham Ladies. And they, they actually run a lot of workshops around the UK. But luckily, for Cardiff because we're part of Dukes we get their workshops for free which is wonderful we take um, and actually we enable our students really to, to go and visit universities themselves for open days and we bring back our alumni really to help with two weeks of specialised personal statement writing, which we normally do at the end of August every year so that the personal statement is all done and dusted giving the students huge amounts of extra time to concentrate on their academic um, studies. For those who want to do Oxbridge or medicine, for instance, they have to apply earlier. The deadline is the 15th of October rather than the 15th of January for the other university courses. So we need to give quite a lot of specialist extra preparation for Oxbridge and for medical degrees. Medical particularly is on the work experience side. Oxbridge is on the critical thinking and the extension side. So it, it's kind of really important if you're you're aiming for top universities. Um, one of the reasons why I think Cardiff is really successful, having worked in, in five different boarding schools, is that they have the most tremendous, tremendously committed staff, most of which have, you know, have incredible experience, whether it's in their teaching, whether they've been heads of department in other schools, um, whether they've been university, you know, uh, sorry, um, uh, examiners, for instance, whether they've inspected other schools. So, so that the staff are absolutely fantastic and they have gathered lots and lots of fantastic resources for the students to use online so much so actually that we very rarely use textbooks here at Cardiff because we have an awful lot of online material we also um, we, we do intensive testing so for instance our students here at Cardiff have got mock exams this week they've only been back for the last couple of weeks but already we're starting with with exams and we do it you know kind of very regularly um, to make sure that the students are really used to sitting exams and they don't feel phased by any any at any point but also so that they can see the areas in which they need to learn to improve because sometimes those little percentages make a huge difference particularly if you're aiming high for an engineering course at Imperial or to study politics at Oxford for instance and we do actually almost twice as much teaching time as other schools with over seven hours a day and there's daily one-to-one -one support so if students are having any problems they can have one-to-one -one support with teachers every morning between 8 and 8 45. Cardiff really attracts students from across the world. It's not just UK, they're really top students who come from probably uh, uh, over 40 different countries. And we've really looked at the um, education methods that are happening around the world. So we've particularly been looking for at Singapore, for instance, and at China for their maths teaching. But we're bringing really, I think, you know, the kind of the, the great work ethic um, and a determination that comes from a lot of Eastern teaching together with the creativity and imagination that permeates Western culture. So, you know, having both those things together, we've actually managed to stretch our students even further, particularly when they're coming from so many different nationalities. It really is quite like the United Nations at Cardiff Sixth Form College. You know, everyone mixes incredibly well and they're very bright, very interesting young people. Um, and, and there's no doubt that the, the, the friends that people make at Cardiff Sixth Form College often go Go through with them for the rest of their lives. Looking after young people is very important because obviously all our students are under the age of 18 so they're surrounded by this whole myriad of, of different people so there's house parents there's graduate assistants there's prefects there's teachers there's tutors everyone's got a personal tutor there's obviously their guardians externally we have an online whole medical center which is you know has been very busy over the last few months helping kind of advise on on the on the on the, on, on the pandemic but we've got counselors we've got student support officers to make sure that everybody always has someone to talk to and someone to look out for them 
Um, as I said, 41 nationalities at the moment here at Cardiff and a lovely picture here just showing, you know, the many different, many different nationalities. So you've got um, a Ukrainian boy on the left, you've got a British boy in the middle, you've got um, a, a local British girl actually, and then you've got a Nigerian girl. So really interesting, fantastic cultural diversity. And it really, really adds to the whole spirit, I think, of what Cardiff Sixth Form College is really, really about. The boarding accommodation is fantastic. It's university standard. Every single student has their own single study bedroom. Um, as you can see, quite a lot of them have their own kitchens with them, within them, their own televisions. They all have ensuite you know, kind of bedrooms as part of it. So lovely desks, lovely, very big kind of comfortable beds. So they're really, really spoilt, actually, which makes life you know, very nice for them living um, very near the college. Um, in terms of extracurricular activities, there is this is the kind of fourth area, if you like, of the curriculum. So there's a whole myriad of different activities that people can get involved in. We have a very active drama society, which holds um, a big production every year, for instance. We have a lot of musical groups. Um, we have a, a huge sports day and our students have, you know, take part in kind of badminton and basketball in football teams, which we play against other schools, for instance, netball clubs. So we do the Duke of Edinburgh scheme and um, we have a very thriving art club um, so you know really really busy model united nations debating those kinds of things are all happening and we definitely encourage the students to take part but um, what we're not trying to do is get it to take over their lives what we want it to be is part of their lives but there's so many as part of Cardiff you have the academic side the career side the university side and the extracurricular is, is the fourth element. Cardiff itself is capital city. It's very lively. It's very diverse. It's very easy to get to London. It's only two and a half hours. Most people will fly from Bangkok directly to London Heathrow. And we've just been picking up a whole myriad of students, for instance. And I can just tell you that we're actually only waiting for nine students who are just waiting for their visas. We've actually are fuller this year than we've ever been before, which is actually incredible considering um, you know, the difficulties that everybody has had worldwide. So it, it's, a, it's a real, you know, a, a real achievement. There's a lot of culture and theatre. There's a fantastic sports ground, for instance, an international sport is played here. And um, we have lots and lots of history with Cardiff Castle. Um, wonderful shopping. Um, and the shopping is just five minutes walk. So the students, you know, can very easily go into the city of Cardiff. And it's very, very safe, very secure very young lively city and there's a lovely waterfront there's also a lot of gardens and lovely green spaces for the students to go and relax in particularly in the summer so I'm just going to finish really with with a, with a, just so you can see um you know kind of a couple of case studies for instance um from this year's students so Ellis for instance um has just got into Cambridge with four A stars to study law for instance um, Hazana, for instance, who's come, who, who, was, who was from Hong Kong, has gone to the University of Hong Kong to do medicine. And quite a lot of our Hong Kong students will go back to Hong Kong because it means that they can align the medical systems um, in Hong Kong with their degree. So she, for instance, has you know, she joined on us, us on, on a January intake, for instance, and, and kind of powered through. She's done incredibly well. As you see, she's got an amazing five A stars at A level. So they're pretty impressive, the students. Um, Melanie Kovalenko, for instance, is, is from Russia. Um, she has gone on to the London School of Economics and Political Science to study economics. And Abdullah has gone on to Oxford to study engineering. So, you know, th this is just from this year's students. So it just gives you an idea of the kinds of calibres of students that we have. And, um, and, and, and it's a very, very exciting and dynamic school to be part of. I'm very, very pleased to be working here and enjoy it very much. Um, as as Sue said beforehand, um, really happy to meet anyone who's interested in that on the 4th um so you know I, I hope to see you all then and um and and i do hope that you kind of look forward to hearing from some of the other schools you've got dave i think coming from culford now which is a very different but an absolutely fantastic school too we're we're very fortunate to have a really good lot of boarding schools which offer quite different things for people thank you very much